Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. Uh, this is Jason of Royal Blood Ministries and my website is jasonburnspreacher.com <coughs> and uh, you can get us on Facebook and Twitter. There's a Royal Blood Ministries uh, Facebook, there's also Royal Blood Ministries Twitter and if you want to look at some of the work that we've done uh, you can go on to Soko Films, Soko Films uh, and he often uh, very kindly and graciously films us when we're down uh, at Hyde Park. So uh, that's just a little bit about uh, my uh, multimedia that you can get in contact with me and the guys that, that, that help me and work with me. So I just want to talk about <clears throat> a mission report and uh, then talk about Hyde Park, about... Uh, the uh, the future of High Park and visiting High Park, etc. So, first of all, um, <clears throat> on WhatsApp, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm on WhatsApp, and I can't get onto WhatsApp at the moment. Uh, I press WhatsApp there. It says iPhone storage full. So I I put uh, 50 gig from iCloud onto it, paying one pound a month. Uh, and that's not sorted it. Uh, it's not an issue, I don't think, with my supplier EE. Um, so I went into Apple Store and asked them if they could help, and they were not very helpful, to be honest. Uh, they said I've got to download this onto my computer and then back to my computer. Well, that, if you know me, is a bit too technical for me. So basically, those who I talk to a lot on iPhone. On, um, on WhatsApp, please don't think that I've fallen out with anybody. I've just got a technical problem at the moment, so if anybody um, can help me to know how to sort this out, or if anybody's got a phone, um, a Samsung or a, a phone that they want to pass on to me and I, I could get a new phone, but uh, the tech people said that uh, I need a a better phone but to be honest I, I, all I'm bothered about is getting back on WhatsApp because I have quite a few people that I can talk to so if anyone could sort this out for me help me or get me a new phone I'd be very grateful um, but it, it's very very um, frustrating at the moment because I can't contact uh, Frank who's a, a missionary in Holland and there's other people I can't contact and it, it's very frustrating so if there's any technical people out there who can help me to sort it out, or if you've got a spare phone knocking around uh, that I could use, I'd be very grateful, that can take the data, etc. So, so that's why I'm not contacting people on WhatsApp at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I want to just give mission report. Um, Just report on what's been happening. Um, Frank and Kadeen, uh, missionaries from Holland with little Joshua came for two weeks and it, it was a, a non-stop mission really. It was me and Frank went out quite a lot uh, every day and to be honest we reached a phenomenal amount of people. We, we really reached a lot of people. Some of the guys came out some days um, but uh, the amount of literature that me and Frank uh, got to the people of Manchester uh, was phenomenal. We got loads of Bibles out. Uh, that was due to Frank sending me those Bibles. We got loads of Bibles out. We got loads of literature and we, we talked to loads of people. So please pray that that seed will continue to be blessed. Uh, we also did a trip to Liverpool, which was blessed. We had a, an excellent talk by Brother Alan on a Thursday evening on evangelism, which was really good. And uh, some of the guys came out at one of the weekends in particular. Um, Brother George, Caleb and quite a few others came out one Saturday. Uh, and that was excellent. So, on the whole, it was a brilliant mission. Um, we just we just got to talk to lots of people um, 
We hooked up with CRM, uh, with Pastor Isaac, and we had a chat with him uh, once uh, morning and discussion about the future with him. We had, uh, we helped uh, my home church um, where we did a little bit of door to door. Um, but I think, I think that um, some of the highlights, some of the encouraging things is, is um, we, we invited a lady um, from Manchester to come to the church and uh, she came and that was encouraging and then there was one particular young person who heard, was hearing me preach and then the next day came and asked for a bible um, but there were so many people that we had so many good conversations with and a lot of good seed was sown uh, and we pray that a lot of fruit will come from that mission because uh, it was really encouraging Countless people came to the table and took literature. Countless people came and took literature. Uh, and it was wonderful. Uh, so Franken is coming with a team of Dutch, uh, with a group of Dutch guys, coming near the end of Ma uh, January, April, May, near the end of May. Uh, they're coming with uh, some Dutch guys, so uh, that's going to be another mission that we're going to be doing. So I'd encourage people to pray about that, to get involved in that. We're going to try and get churches together, working together in Manchester uh, in that mission. So please pray about it. We also got an idea for next year to get young people from Europe to come to Manchester and do a mission. So we're praying about that, thinking about that. I'm also partnering with Frank and Kadeem, they want me to get involved more with their mission, so I'll be going to the home church has kindly invited me to preach in, in May, uh, at the beginning of May, and um, also I'll be, uh, and I appreciate the church's invitation. Uh, the home church, I really love their people, I really love the leaders there, and um, I just I just love them, and. Uh, so I really appreciate their invitation. So I thank the church for that. Um, I'll be preaching on uh, Nehemiah chapter 1. If anybody wants to read what I'm preaching on, I'm going to be talking about prayer, the importance of prayer. Uh, then there's a mission in Spain that I'll be going to, to uh, uh, sometime in summer to help Kadeen and Frank and, and the church there that they're associated with. So. Uh, just I'll be just helping them out doing doing leafleting and in one on one evangelism. So uh, and then we have other plans um, as well. And then I've had a good chat with Mike, and uh, really really good chat with with brother Mike and about the future plans of Royal Blood Ministries and about what how to develop that work and. Uh, and that was really, really good discussion that we had, and, and that was good. Some highlights that have recently happened. Somebody kindly donated fifty pounds to buy this camera that you that's working here. A few months before that, somebody gave me about three hundred pounds to buy the music systems, and the music systems have been amazing. It, it's changed the whole atmosphere of the mission that we're doing. So for those who've donated for Frank. And others who donate, and the other brother that donated the finances, it's been absolutely amazing. And there was a lady that donated some money, and um, that was put to good use as well. Uh, so the sound systems that we have have, have revolutionised mission in Manchester. We're able to play music, which gives a good atmosphere. Uh, we're able to save our voices and, and preach with the with the mics, and it's had a massive impact and. Uh, so for those who financed that and helped with that, thank you so much because it's made a big difference in Manchester. Um, so, so yeah, so basically uh, we've had some new people join us, get involved. Uh, Brother Caleb's been getting involved a little bit. Uh, he's good at camera work and he's been doing a bit of filming from time to time. And he's filming 
has revolutionised the mission because some of the filming that he's done has been excellent. Uh, so that's been really good. Uh, Brother George has been getting involved with us more and he's been an inspiration to us all with his preaching and his passion for the gospel and we're getting more and more people that are interested in joining us interested in getting involved uh, i think that we do need to work about uh, praying together as a team spending more time together as a team i spent some time i've started to spend time with george we study we're studying the scriptures, starting to spend time more with Mike, but we, we need to uh, study the scriptures together, pray together, and work as a team, like maybe uh, on a Saturday, uh, after we've done mission, we go for a cup of tea, and just pray and read the Bible and study together. So, um, so we need to work on building a Royal Blood Ministries team, um, those who want to associate with us, that's fine. But, but we do need to try and build a, a Royal Blood Ministries team. And hopefully we're going to get some new t-shirts done, get a gazebo, get a stand and all the rest. Those are plans for the future. So we pray about that. Um, so yeah, we need, we, me and Mike discussed um, about uh, the need to up the game about the Royal Blood Ministry. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be emphasising that we are a ministry and, and um, you know, give our basic vision and, and, and code of conduct to encourage people to, to be part of a, a kind of mission. Um, and we discussed and prayed about the future. Maybe some of the guys like George, I'm, I've not talked with George personally, but my, my idea is one day that I could pay George, Mike, Kieran and others if they, if they wanted to go full time a salary. So we're, we're praying about, me and Mike are praying about developing that to, to develop a work where we could pay people a salary so they can do, do missions. So we, we ask that you pray about that because a lot of these guys are helping uh, and some of them are called really to be full time um, so those are some of the ideas and plans and, and, and thinking um, me and Mike talked about um, the work at Hyde Park we, we, we're passionate about that we've seen a massive influence and change at Hyde Park over the year and a small part of that has been our involvement there people are more confident to debate and People are going more researched into high part, and uh, Christians are, are putting uh, challenging Islam there, and so you know we want to continue the work at high part. We need we I thank the brother for this camera, and I thank Caleb for his camera work, but we need people to commit to the work, who are going to be committed to it, and we need bigger camera equipment, and we need. Uh, people who feel called to be an apologist uh, who can debate and do apologetics and polemics to join that team to come down with us and those in the Royal Blood Ministries who help like George and others who are preachers um, it still would be helpful if they came down and support us because uh, and then you know the in Royal Blood people have different gifts people there are preachers there are evangelists there are apologists. Uh, there's people in Royal Blood that have different gifts, people who want to pray uh, more with people, uh, people who, who, who prefer to do um, more compassionate ministries type. But the core of Royal Blood is street preaching, personal evangelism and defending the faith. So part of that ministry that we do is we do polemics and we go down to Hyde Park and we do polemics. So we, we need people who are maybe gifted or interested in developing the skills to, to do that. Um, so that's the ministry down at Hyde Park. The ministry at Manchester, 
Uh, it's going really, really well. Hundreds of people, thousands of people know us in Manchester. We have a good reputation in Manchester with people. Uh, and a lot of people come to the table. We're, we're talking to people. I think the next step is maybe promoting the ministry a little bit in Manchester because what we do, we tend to promote other churches. We, prevent, we, we tend to promote other ministries and other churches. Uh, we're quite unselfish in that we think of the wider church and we put we push people into churches and, and encourage people to different ministries and different churches. But I think um, that there is a need to uh, promote what we do uh, as well. So we'll be doing leaflets where it's got the Royal Blood Ministries leaflet and with the view to starting Bible studies around Manchester and around the UK with a possible view of them becoming church plants. So that's a that's a vision, a possible vision of starting church plants around the country through Bible studies and I, I, I feel that this is some, it's time now to think about this so uh, if people could be praying about it, about starting Bible study groups around Manchester and, and around the country. We go to Liverpool, we go to other places and maybe we could start Bible study groups there with a view to start in church plants, if it's of God. So, so those are some of the things that's been happening. There's some of the things that uh, future plans, partnerships. Uh, we have one big idea, which me and Frank are partnering in, and we hope Fr Frank and Kadeen are partnering. Well, a couple, a couple of things. One is I think Frank and Kadeen want to do a few called to do something in Belgium so pray about that that it could support them in that but also I, I put to Frank an idea about doing a mission next year where we bring young people to Manchester from Europe so that's a partnership with Frank and Kadeen uh, we didn't talk to Kadeen much but uh, we talk, I talked to Frank and so that's something we could pray about and if people could pray about it pastors in, in Manchester could pray about it a possible mission of bringing young people from Europe to the UK where we can do a mission in Manchester and do it every year and then encourage the young people who come from Europe into Manchester to go back to Europe to do evangelism. It's an idea, we'll pray about it and who knows whether it will be a reality but it's something that I think uh, could be could be really a blessing to Manchester and a blessing to, to, uh, to Europe as well. So these are just some plans, some ideas that we're praying about, and partnerships. So, I just want to talk about fruit. People might say, well, what, what's the fruit of your ministry? Well, when I started uh, this ministry uh, a few years ago, I remember I was at a table, and it was freezing cold and I was on my own and it was really really tough um, there was only a few going out I remember that Kevin Williams was going out um, and I remember that there was another group called John and his team were going out but there weren't many going out doing street preaching and evangelism in Manchester when I was when I was starting now there is a lot of evangelism going on in Manchester and now I'm not saying it's because of me uh, but I think that God has used me to encourage people to be more bolder in Manchester and to reach out for example uh, uh, a African pastor only a couple of weeks ago said he saw me preaching and uh, he went and bought himself a microphone and now he's going out preaching in Manchester so God has used Royal Blood Ministries to encourage people to do evangelism. There's a number of young preachers that are getting going, have got going because of Royal Blood Ministries. There's a number of people who got involved in evangelism that never thought they'd get involved in evangelism. There's a number of people that have got involved in apologetics where they never thought they'd be doing studies like that. So it's inspired quite a lot of people over the last few years to use their gifts and to reach out. 
The second fruit is there have been conversions. There have been uh, a number of people that have come forward. I don't personally like to tally and say this person's converted or that. I just don't do that uh, personally. I uh, just leave it to God. And, and But um, there was, a, I think last year, there was a guy on his skateboard came, said he'd given his heart to the Lord and that the skateboarders have been influenced by the gospel in Manchester through what we did. Um, that are people who are lesbians who've come said they've gone back to church, they're reading the Bible. Uh, there have been lots of people that have come to me and said, you know, because of you I'm now going to church, I'm now trusting the Lord, you know. So I don't I don't report on these things and I don't I don't like make a song and dance about it. But a lot of people's lives have been influenced by what we've been doing over the year over the years through the gospel. Uh, thirdly, um, there's been a lot of people helped emotionally. There's been a lot of pastoral work done uh, over the last couple of years. For example, there's a, a chap called Jola. He was a, a brilliant law student and uh, he needed a lot of support and uh, our ministry was able, uh, a lot of people in our ministry don't know this, but our ministry, Royal Blood Ministries, really helped this brilliant young lawyer to get back on his feet when he went through a difficult time. Also, uh, a number of our guys, uh, Kieran and Mike especially, have helped quite a lot, the homeless people, uh, and uh, people who were asylum seekers have had a lot of help from our guys so there's been a lot of practical help to people over the years couple of years in Manchester through some of the guys that work with me uh, to the homeless and to the needy uh, a lot of people don't see that but that's the fruit that and the fruit is that a lot of the homeless people have a respect for us because they know that if we can help them we'll help them you know so there's the fruit in inspiring people's gifts, there's the fruit in seeing people saved, there's the fruit in that we've helped a lot of people emotionally, with emotional difficulties where we've given pastoral support and encouragement. Uh, and there's been the fruit of, of um, helping people practically, pra in practical everyday help. Then there's been even wider fruit uh, there's the fruit in that nationally uh, the ministry is known and people will come and talk to us around the country about what we're doing. There's the fruit that we're having an impact on the Muslim people, that many Muslim people will come and talk to us wherever we are around the country. I was in London a few months ago, I was just in a coffee bar. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it was about six months ago, I was in a coffee bar in London and this guy, Muslim guy, just turned around and went ah! and went like this and gave me a hug. I'd never met him before but he knew about our ministry, uh, about Royal Blood Ministries, about what we do. So we're having an impact nationally, people are getting to know who we are and, and because they know who we are, they come to us and want to ask questions. I was in Presswich, uh, we were doing mission to the Jewish people and a Muslim guy came past and said oh I recognize you now I've never met him I was um, often I'm preaching around the country and someone said oh I've seen you in Manchester so the ministry is is, 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 is known far and wide and it opens doors to people people because they know you a bit they, they're willing to trust and talk to you so these are the, some of the fruits of this ministry. Um, with partnership with Frank and Kadeen, uh, Frank and Kadeen have been amazing. I, I mean, it's, they're just like family. And uh, they've supported me and they've, they've blessed me so much. And I hope that 
royal blood has, has encouraged them and and, I'll, and we've, I've tried and, and others Naomi's tried and, and we, we, we to encourage them and to support them in the mission that they're doing and to get alongside them and encourage them and they they've got alongside us and encouraged us uh, so there's been fruit in working with other Christians we, uh, who, who have ministries and in Manchester we, we've worked with pastors and churches and try to encourage unity so that's fruit um, so th those are just some of the fruits that uh, this ministry is born but there's a, but it, it's only in the seed it's only in the seedbed stages it was only in the beginning this is only the beginning but I'm praying that uh, this will grow and um, it needs your prayers, it needs your support, it needs your financial backing. Some of you have graciously supported me financially recently, but I don't just want it for me, but I'd like it to grow that others could could be blessed financially to do the work with us. And, um, and also we need more financial support for Bigger Vision, it would be amazing if we could start to buy or rent mission houses and staff missionaries in it not just in 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 manchester one of the first things would be if we could have a mission house in manchester where we could staff missionaries and have students around europe come and study with us how amazing would that be and take them out and encourage the churches to go out and do mission that would be a project so has anybody got a house has anybody got the finances where we could buy or rent a mission house, a house where we could staff loads of young people, loads of missionaries, where we can train them, teach them, and get them out on the streets and then inspire them to go back to Europe. But that would need finances, it would need people to step forward and say, you know what, I see the potential of this ministry, I see the potential of this. We're, we're never going to get the same, same kind of support as say the message trust or some of these big organizations because they're, they're, they're seen as more respectable we're more really on the grassroots cutting edge you know street preaching is not valued uh, today in the church so it's not going to get the same kind of financial backing or commitment but we don't just do street preaching we do one-on-one -on -one evangelism we do apologetics we're going to branch out one day into church planting um, so we're on the radical fringe uh, but it still needs finances it still needs people to support it financially to back it financially uh, otherwise we just can't do the work um, Frank and Kadeen sent two boxes of Bibles we could not have done the mission for that two weeks without without those boxes of Bibles and uh, and that was finances people from Holland sent that gift of two boxes, two or three boxes of Bibles and it and it maintained the mission for two weeks where we constantly got hundreds of Bibles out to people, New Testaments to people. Uh, and so it needs people to have the vision to, to see the potential of the mission that we've been doing. We're not only in Manchester but we can branch out, we're branching out into London, we can branch out around the country and we can branch out many other places um, but it, it, it needs you to see the potential I think you know what, there's potential here these guys are doing a good work, some of you are beginning to see in Manchester and around the, around the world, some of you are beginning to see the potential of this ministry that it that it's beginning to be be blessed. It, it's beginning to come together, and uh, it, it just needs people to have the vision to see how far this can go. Um, so that that's just some about the mission report, where we're at. Um, so I, I just want to say about also about. Uh, um, Hyde Park and, and to say I was planning to go to Hyde Park this Sunday 
and I was planning to go um, next week and then the week after. I, Mike has been able to get a week off uh, so maybe um, I think it's in the last week of April this month we'll, we'll be definitely going down and we're trying to get a team to go with us. I, I hope to go next week uh, but today it's Saturday the, the afternoon I've had a two week intensive mission with Frank and Kadeem where we've been out doing mission and I just I just want to say as well um, 